Okay. Probably in the meantime, there is one question uh, uh, being posed, actually. Uh, uh, since Israel is not a member of the ICC, how will this affect or pose a challenge to prosecute these individuals? Okay, probably a, a number can answer this. Probably I, I will leave this to, firstly, to his... Uh, His Excellency, Mr. Amar Hijazi, would you like to uh, uh, provide an input on this? Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think it is uh, a question that Israel has been uh, putting forward uh, so many times in its statements that it does not recognize the jurisdiction of the court and as such the court uh, has no jurisdiction over Israel. We know that uh, from the Rome Statute that the, uh, it is triggered through uh, several means. One of, of these means is that the uh, state party on, on, upon which uh, territory uh, the crimes have been committed has the right to uh, bring the issue to the attention of the court. And as such, uh, the crimes have been committed on the territory of the state of Palestine. It doesn't matter who committed the, those crimes and by whom. And if the... Uh, uh, those who committed this, th those crimes are members uh, of, uh, are party to the Rome Statute or not. So as such, uh, this does not stand uh, scrutiny and uh, legally speaking, uh, any crimes committed on the state of Palestine are now under the jurisdiction of the court by whomever and by any party, whether it is party to the Rome Statute or not. Thank you, His Excellency.